That started as a tree, right? Oh, yep. An Austrian tradition brought thousands of people out to auditorium shores this morning, the 17th year for the Cowboy Breakfast. The traditional kickoff to the star of Texas Fair and Rodeo, which begins next week. Crowds came for pancakes, sausage, biscuits, and a whole lot more, all for free. But by the time they got there, Sean had gone through most of it. <laughs> it gone. The event also featured entertainment, including cowboys, clowns, even that chainsaw carver that you saw. <clears throat> it was great during your live shots this morning. We saw that there he is. The guy standing on a on, horse. Standing on a horse with his rope going. That Let's make crazy. this more difficult. Was, yeah, stand on a horse. <laughs> a lot of fun. Yeah, a lot of fun. It's kind of funny. I think next year they might give the guy that does a chainsaw thing an electric chainsaw. Yeah, probably a good idea. <laughs> it was really hey, loud. you know what? They, that, that whole thing raises tons of money for kids, too. Right. A million and a half dollars That's for uh, kids. Yeah, they're nonprofit and uh, obviously That's a good fantastic. Good a lot work. of fun. Yeah. A lot of fun. All right, it's done. Now yeah. we've got the uh, the rodeo coming up. Now we got to worry about the weather over there, and that of course is in a week from now. Right now, it looks like this weekend has a few showers to start it off, but after that, some nice, clear, sunny skies. We'll talk about the possibility for a little bit cooler weather as well mixed in. It is a front that's coming in. You've got a little bit of shower activity that's stretched around. I find something interesting here. I'm going to point it out to you. Some of this is rain. Some of this I'm not buying. All right, you see the showers and how they radiate around in kind of a circle. Well, notice that the radar site is right here in the middle. You've got showers around here. I think it's only picking up some parts of the cloud cover. I don't buy that that's actually rain making it in. So there may be a few sprinkles out there. I'm also watching our uh, tower cam that's out in uh, Marble Falls, and that's that right there. Grounds are dry there. You can watch that as well at KXA.com. Keep an eye on whether it's raining as you head out and about across the area. Uh, 74 degrees right now, humidity at 71%. Winds out of the eight, out of the west right now at eight miles, or rather out of the east right now at eight miles per hour. We're not seeing things um, too bad. There's a possibility that winds could pick up a little bit later, but that's as it front approaches. And then tomorrow, after the front comes through, I think it will pick up. So, a little time, a little patience. We're going to get into some nice weather. Temperatures around the area running in the 60s and 70s. You can see how things are shaping up out to the east in Lagrange, where there's 72 out in Giddings and Lagrange, 70 here in Austin, 70 in San Marcos, and then out to the west in Mason, 64, 66 in Fred. 70 in Lano, not bad right now. Now, morning low temperatures did get into the 50s. We had the cloud cover. It kind of held us back from getting any colder. We saw temperatures only down to 60 in some spots. So at some point this morning, maybe it was a little chilly for you. This afternoon, it will warm up to some 70s and I think comfortable for everybody out of doors with short sleeves. You'll be doing just fine. All right, we've talked about these storm systems coming in from the west. Another one coming in. We've had a couple of days now with moisture coming in from the southeast off of the Gulf. We have the cloud cover in place and uh, from midnight, little after midnight to the current time, watch how the clouds thickened up across the area. Even a little bit of green in there. Again, not really sure if I buy that on the radar. I think maybe some of that could be a few sprinkles, maybe just anomalies where the radar seems to form a perfect circle when we analyze it with some of our other data. Now, you can see this storm system sitting out of the west, kind of sitting here waiting. We'll see a possibility for showers develop tonight as a front pushes through from the west. There's even some colder weather. It's kind of off the map here, but there's a little bit colder weather up there in Kansas that's, um, well, freezing it. Maybe a little bit of a, a ice rain mix, something to deal with if you're traveling north. Future clouds and radar does show this all developing and moving out of here. There's a possibility for showers, and then it's out of here by tomorrow morning, and then we're done. We end up with sunshine. Kind of breezy tomorrow. 78 for the high today. Winds out of the southeast at 10 to 20 up into the evening hours. Overnight, chance for sprinkles, uh, maybe a few showers. Now, we did pick up a couple of thunderstorms early Monday morning with the last system that came through. Could do it again, but it'll be out of here quickly. Our seven-day forecast. Breezy, with uh, both in front and behind that front as it moves through. A little cooler tomorrow. 64 the high then, then 39. Maybe a little on the cold side for some folks. Maybe even a light freeze out in Hill Country. Starts to warm up again. Another front just like it. Guess what? Down to 45 on that one for Thursday morning. Watch carefully on that temp. It could get a little colder. It could cause you a little bit of a concern for uh, freezing vegetation. More